Greetings and salutations viewers, I'm Star Princess HLC and welcome back to Osmophia. When I last left off, we finished up one of Karamia's endings, where it resulted in the two of them getting married, but then getting interrupted at the last minute by Caesar. So, that was an interesting uh, scenario. Uh, I've screen I've been doing a few of the other endings of Karamia's, including the one where he, there's actually a love triangle where you actually switch from Karamia to Axel. That's kind of an interesting one, too, but uh, fairly short and not really worth an entire video of. Although I did get some more information as I was doing those endings regarding probably a little bit more of the story. For one, uh, if you remember MB, the mysterious character that Kiri was talking to in the brothel area, I believe it was... It seems that uh, he might be an assassin of some kind, because at some point, Kiri finds him stabbing a corpse with a sword. So I have a feeling that there is some kind of connection of assassinations or something in the background, which is probably why in Carmia's ending he was talking to one of the girls from that house. That maybe there's more going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing. Also... The uh, ending where, or the route where it's uh, Carmia versus Axel, or not uh, Carmia versus Kiri. There seems to be this little thing in the background where apparently Fuka, I'm sticking with the name Fuka because it's easier than having to just switch names all the time and it'll go faster in terms of going through stuff behind the scenes, but turns out in uh, in that route, there's a reveal that apparently Fuka has a similar scent to somebody from Karamiya's past. He doesn't really remember this person very well, but he remembers their scent. And while initially he didn't notice it when he first started falling for Fuka, it became more apparent later on. And that actually becomes a part where Karamiya and Kiri kind of have a bit of a falling out briefly until we get involved because of this little incident. But yeah, it does seem like there is something else going on behind the scenes with Frawley Fuka and her memories, and Kiri might have some ideas on that. That being said though, I am not romancing Kiri just yet. I still don't really like the character. He is intriguing me, I admit, but I don't really like him at this point. So for this particular one, I'm going after Scarlet. We've been having a lot of uh, re-interactions with Little Red Riding Hood here. I'm kind of curious to see how it goes. So we're going to start interacting with Scarlet. He as well has two endings, if this guide is any indication. So it'll be bits and pieces I'll be going through. Well, there are so many people. She passed through this area yesterday, but there hadn't been nearly as many people around back then as there were now. It wasn't as if the crowd was at a standstill, but it would be impossible to push against its flow. I wonder where they're all going. She turned to look at the mansion. With each step forward, the mansion got farther and farther away. This room is just a straight shot, so I don't think I'll get lost, but let me just see. Oh, okay, yep, I have seen this one. So we're going back to talking with uh, this. This time we're saying that Scarlet is very mature, and I guess, as you can tell, this was before... Um, before Fuka realizes that, oh, this character is a male. So we're calling out to Scarlet again. We're saying our hellos. We're running into So again. Is that strange? Well, it doesn't matter now because we're not romancing you at this current point in time. Oh, hello, Axel. Uh... No, good morning. Huh? That is fair. And we will be getting to you eventually, but maybe after Scar, we'll see how I feel. I still... <laughs> Which is funny, because when I was doing the back stuff where I was doing uh, Carmia versus Axel, and then there was a point where actually the love triangle happens where... Carmia realizes I can't be with you, so he breaks up with uh, Fuka. 
you end up going with Axel afterwards, and he becomes, like, weirdly obsessed with you. Like, amazingly obsessed, to the point where it's like, I can't be around anybody else but you, otherwise I'm anxious as all hell. Like, he just suddenly quickly turns very codependent on a dime. It's amazing. But let's continue to, uh, talk to Scarlet, then. Scarlet! Nothing in particular. Should I not? Considering the rest of Familia Grimm, uh, you're the probably best one to talk to. Because, let's face it, Hansel and Gretel are scary. <laughs> if... Yes, you're part of Familia Grimm. How am I aggressive? I'm girly with pink hair. Why not? We both live in the town. Aw, but why are we enemies? <laughs> it is the law. <laughs> Can't we make up? We didn't really do that. We haven't gotten an explanation yet about why it is the families are fighting, actually. Other than turf wars. What is this? Oh, well, that's kind of sad. Yes, we're close enough that we can talk like this, but there are these arbitrary lines keeping us apart. It feels like such a waste. Are we going to start West Side storying this whole thing? Where we're going to have to start snapping and singing? Oh, sorry. I just keep babbling, even though I know you've got your hands full with other business. Okay. Mm, can I talk to you again? No? Aww. Okay, thank you! Aww. I managed, I'm glad I got managed to talk to Scarlet this morning. Oh, hi, Mr. Curie. Can I punch you in the face now? Well... Yeah, we know. Okay. I ran to Scarlet earlier and we talked a little. Yes, that's it. I wanted to talk a little more, but Scarlet said we couldn't because we're from enemy familia. Hmm. Wish we could get to know each other better. I mean, I understand the situation, but I think it'd be nice if us girls could get along. <laughs> yes, us girls. Oh, I didn't mean you, Mr. Curie. Yes, Scarlet is so tiny and cute. Really? She seems like your type, Mr. Curie. <laughs> yeah, this is the part where uh, it's like, if you've played through the game before, you know how ridiculous this seems. But I'll try my best. <laughs> Still, it's fun! We're getting along. We're being buds, us girls. We're totally just gonna be gal pals and nothing else. And I th you see, yep, this is a skipping bit. Alright, well, that's fine. It's fun. It's fun to hang out with you, Mr. Kiri, with your creepy behavior. Hello, MB. Again, you still are suspicious. And yes, we're running into Hansel and Gretel once more. Hi, Scarlet! Are you gonna talk these two into behaving? I doubt you ever will. Oh yeah, and this is the part where Caesar kidnaps Axel, and then we're like, we have to save him! And they're like, no, he'll be fine! And then we're like, I'm gonna go save him! And then we get captured. And then the entire family of like, the entire gang war decides to team up and go after Caesar and kill a few of his men, but then the rest run off into the woods, and it's great. Just saying. It's funny seeing everything kind of go fast, and then it's like, Axel, we want to be friends. 
And it's kind of one of those, eh, sure, why not things. Okay, fine. No more Mr. and no more Miss. We're just going to talk regular. I wonder if we'll be able to see Scarlet today. It was, an early, it was early on a Sunday afternoon. Predictably, the plaza was overflowing with people. Scarlet should have been easy to identify from the cloak. Found you! Scarlet! Yep, uh, yep, I came back. You're not getting rid of me that easily. You're on my root list today. As they were acquainted with each other by now, whenever Fuka saw Scarlet on Sundays, or even sometimes on weekdays, she tried to initiate conversation. You have pretty red eyes. I just want to know more about you. I don't think so, given some of how her behavior has been. In until what? Ooh, what do you got? Scout offered her a bright red apple. Is this gonna be a common theme where Scarlet just eats anything red? Well, okay. Are you sure? Oh, sure. I, I guess I'll have to take you up on that. Thanks. Um, nom, 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 nom. That's true, it could have been poisoned. We could have had a Snow White incident. What do you mean? And you haven't shown any... Uh, did you poison it? Well, there you go. Oh, well, that's good. Oh. I'm sure would be nice if every day was a Sunday. I mean, I wouldn't mind. But, yeah. Because I could talk to you every day if that were the case. It'd be nice and peaceful, so I wouldn't have to worry about my safety. Aw, oh, you're a sweetheart. Really? You're not wrong. Aww. I hope it's true someday. But I still hope it comes true someday. Yes, if you wish hard enough, it'll come true eventually, especially during the meteor shower, which will happen in several weeks. <laughs> well, why don't you help me help make it happen, then? I'll help, too. We could work both work to make it a reality. Well, I don't really know. I didn't think this far ahead. Yeah... Ouch. You, you got a point there. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Huh? Oh! Scarlet! Okay, bye, Scarlet. You're cool. Wanna be buds? Possibly more later on once I find out that uh, you're not a girl, you're in fact a guy. <laughs> That's gonna be funny in this route to realize. Oh well. well. Let's see, what's the next one? Is this where we uh, start working? Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, what am I talking about? Uh, he's a smart person. It's fine. Oh, hi. I'll give it a shot. We're talking about the beauty pageant, right? Yeah, we're talking about the beauty pageant. Again, I'm just kind of skipping past. Oh, hi! I'm doing it because I want to. Scarlet, why don't you enter? Oh, wait. You're a boy. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> okay. I'll just talk with Scarlet some more. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's clear the air on that one. Scarlet? Um, hi. Is this about the fact that I thought you were a girl? Maybe still- Yep, I'm, I'm assuming he's still mad. Because you're pretty? Oh, he's totally mad. You'd be amazed! I've met a lot of girls with shorter hair like that. When I look at you, I just see a girl. You're short, and you have a baby face with these big, cute, round eyes. <laughs> it's like, I can't be taken seriously. You're even girlier than me. You have purple hair. I have pink hair. I don't know. Oh, come on. Are you gonna die, Scarlet? 
精神が死ぬかもしれない。普段気にしているから。Oh, okay, that's fair. Well, to be fair, you're still young. You never know. You're insecure about it? 僕は男として未熟だから。You're way more mature than the majority of the guys I've seen in this game. I'm just saying. But you're a perfect girl. Sorry. But it's such a waste. You're so cute. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. Let's see. I'll be more careful. Scarlet, does being cute bother you that much? Why? Vanished. Well, can you teleport? That'd be kind of badass. Oh. Oh. I made him sad. But no, you see, the, the, the whole being short thing, it kind of works out in your favor, because then you can be sneaking around in the midst of the crowds and get away from bad guys faster, and then sneak up on them and shake them. I put way too much thought to this. Alright, so let's move on with Karmia. And we're gonna head off to the pageant. And we're gonna be fabulous. And we're gonna be embarrassed. Because that. And then we're gonna have Caesar attack. And then we're gonna be like, oh, we beat a goose in a pageant. We're gonna be happy for ourselves over it. And then we're gonna talk again. Again to Scarlet, and let's see how he reacts to this situation. Wow, it's delicious. Oh, yeah, that, oh yeah, we did just find out that he's like part of the Wolf Gang and the Right Hand Man. Yes, we're gonna have to romance you at some point too. And I gotta go back to Caesar's actually now that I think of it, because I still have to get his other ending. Because there's two endings for, like, every character. Oh, Scarlet! Skaska? Skaska. It's the terrible name for a ska band. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no, your name's awesome. Did you come to eat too, Scarlet? Oh, his eyes wandered to the food in her hands. What is it with your obsession with my food? Suspicious foods? I mean, it depends. I heard his feelings. I mean, you work with Caesar, you never know. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't trust Hansel and Gretel either with a 10 foot pole. I'm kind of glad they're not a romance option. I mean, he could. <laughs> ah, there you go. Right? Probably because you were so on high alert, you were just assuming everybody's trying to out to keep you out to get you. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Jamie, what do you say? Yeah, you're a good boy. Come here. Yeah, you're a pretty boy. He's my pretty boy. He's my good boy. Yes, yes. He's a good boy. You can't cook, Scarlet? You cook? That's fair. That's nice. I can't cook at all. I'm jealous. 
And Karmi is rude, I'm actually, like, learning to cook, but not in this situation. Yeah, that's true. Practice and experimentation. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. I guess I'll have to keep trying. Experience and technique. I guess I'll just have to keep trying. If I get good at it, will you try my cooking? Take responsibility? That sounds a little dramatic. Stop with the skaska. <laughs> skaska. That's fair. And who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? <laughs> and now I'm back here. Uh, whatever you think is good, I'm... I'm just gonna let you decide. Oh, you're just, uh... You're just gonna make pancakes anyway. That's fine. So why did I bother asking then? Mmm, pancakes sure are delicious. I had some for breakfast today. They were nice. <laughs> oh, right, the checkup thing. And it's like, I got a clean bill of health. It's fine. Alright, cool. I think this is a good spot then to save and move onward. But we're doing pretty good thus far already. Considering we're only in week five, I believe. Yes. Well, week six at this point. So, good start. I think we're starting to warm up to Scarlet easily. Hopefully, uh, he won't be as troublesome as some of the other ones, because I have a feeling that um, these guys in particular are the more difficult ones to go through, just particularly because a lot of them involve a lot of crossovers. Because, you know, it could be like Carmia versus Kiri, Carmia versus Axel, etc. You kind of have to balance them out, and you got way more endings to worry about with them. With the other ones, it seems to be mainly just one or two. Like, I think the... Because I know for a fact that other ones that are romanceable, other than obviously uh, Puss in Boots down there, and so, and Caesar and Scarlet. But, like, Robin Hood is an option, and I believe there's something you can do with the brothel, and I do believe at some point you can actually romance the Pied Piper of Hamlin, who keeps... Being the main antagonist of, like, almost every scenario I've noticed. But we'll uh, see how that goes in another episode. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching. And have a fond farewell. <laughs>